Welcome family, welcome to the lab, I'm a lab rat and today we're gonna have a little discussion we're gonna talk about uh, something that will have been bothering me for a long while it's, uh, it happened up a good time now but I just wanna I just can find the courage really to talk about it um, I'm gonna just jump right into it you know um, first I wanna say as a minority um, as black people, for the first person. Um, we never support each other. We all had each other's throat, you know what I mean? Um, I was too quick to drag each other down. I mean, there's a lot of bacon for everybody. Everybody can survive in this world here, no matter what you do or who you are. Anyway, let's jump into it. Um, as I said, it happened a while back, but I find the courage now to talk about it. Um, my mother was in the hospital on her dead, dying in her, her deathbed. And um, I went to visit her in the hospital. And um, she really had a message to me. But my sister told her. I remember she to look at me and tell me that, oh, my sister said, I got AIDS. Doctor, whatever her, her name is, I won't mention her name. Say, I got AIDS. I said, What? You know, Mark, you, you know, this is my one of, no, no one of, this is my favorite sister. Um, I'm in the US, uh, she's in the UK, United Kingdom, England, whatever you call it, Europe, whatever. Okay, um, my mother, for some reason, she said again to my mother, telling my mother that I got AIDS. How they know is beyond me. I have no idea. Um, I was mad because that was my favorite sister. You know, somebody I think I was really close with. I could say things to relate, you know, could talk to, you know, something, somebody who I think would have my back. Remember, that's my sister. One mother, one father. We, we grew up in the same house, you know. So there was no five, six kids, six different father, nothing like that. All of us, one mother, one father. And when our mother was there, our father was there. There was no father run off, mother alone was there. You know, well, at one point, she was there because my father passed. So and that's another story. Um, but I was I was really mad, you know. Anyway, um, my mother explained to me, you know, how she know, uh, how she come to that conclusion. And I mean, she said she went to a spiritual person, you know. Uh, you know, in Jamaica, when I said, okay, man, uh, voodoo man, whatever, you know, a spiritual person, a spiritual person. And they told her that the brother got AIDS. Wow, really? Then uh, she told my sister, who was in America here, and she related to my mother, I know dying bed. Uh, okay. I know what the motive was. You know, I don't know. You see, as I said, we as a people, we got to look into ourselves. We never dare for each other. We never support each other. We're ready to pull each other down. I'm just as you, one mother, one father. You know? Anyway, as I said, I'm my favorite sister. So sometimes, man, we our own and our worst enemy. You know, if you look in the mirror, somebody just like you. I mean, that's not your enemy. I'm not your enemy. You know, we, we got to, you know, use, uh, we, we, we got to come up with this strategy. We got to start to uplift each other. We got to start, uh, stop saying me, 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 and saying we are us. We will never reach nowhere by ourselves as a single person, but we will reach far as a group if we come together. And that's what's lacking. 
with our people. Imagine my sister said I got AIDS. Is she a doctor? Did she perform a test? No. But she willing to spread a rumor, go around and tell people that I got AIDS. You know, sometime in life, you gotta call a spade a spade, you know what I mean? And as I said, we never, we never seem to want to, to unite, to come together, to uplift each other, you know? And that, that devastated me, you know what I mean? It, it happened a couple years ago. My mother did pass, it's been five years now. But you know, I wanna get it off my chest, man. And you know, I hope she watching here, Five years after I'm still alive. So do I really have AIDS? You said I, I got AIDS. So if you're watching here, uh, I know I'm feeling you're still my sister, my still my blood. But you know, that to show you how how our minds work, you know what I mean? And how divided we are, you know, as a people. That my own sister can go out and spend a rumor like that. You know, well, I, last year I, I did go in and do, the, do a haze test. <laughs> As I've always known, I, I don't got AIDS, you know. And I sympathize with all the people then out there that got AIDS. And uh, I hope you find a cure. I hope you recover, you get over it, you know. This video is not to bash you, I mean, this video is, to, is just to get out something personally out of my system. Because somebody dear to me, somebody dear to me that I love, my blood, my blood, part of me, you know, you know what I mean? Really say some really bad things, man, about me. Imagine you're gonna go around spending, you know, we come from the same mother, same father, we come from the same household. As I said before, we, we don't, we, we don't, father didn't walk away. And some people can maybe start to blame, oh, father was never around. No, he was around. Mother, father was in the house. You know, we, you know I go in the ghetto, go poor, but go, that's why I go with some principle. And I, and I also have some, I tap some, some old values within me. You know, hey, back then, uh, you know, if, if I'm good, you know, when I was dating out there in the world, I was dating, I mean, I will not bring a girl to my mother unless I'm sure that yes, this is the one, you know what I mean? You know, because uh, I learned from them. I keep my, my thing, <laughs> you know, separate on the road, you know, until I'm perfectly sure of some, someone that I can bring my to my, introduce my, my parents and say yes, you know? Because when I introduce somebody, that's the person, you know what I mean? But, you know, I don't go poor and go in the ghetto, you know, we go, you know, we go with principle, you know what I mean? You know, so that's what I want to come and talk about, man. You know, you know, thanks for watching, man, and check out my story. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Lab, I'm your Lab Rat.